Welcome to Powerboat Nation. Last time on Powerboat Nation. With only days left before the boat run, I decided to put all the stuff on. Key West Boat Run is the, uh, is the Super Bowl of performance powerboat stuff. We just stopped out here in the middle of the bay. Oil temp on the starboard engine is 100 degrees hotter than another port engine. Looks right, I have no idea what's wrong. Uh, checked it, and uh, if we can't figure this out, we're not gonna make it to Key Largo. Now the starboard engine won't fire, won't restart, I have no idea what's wrong with it. I kind of figure it's ignition somewhere. JW jumps in the bilge, fiddles around with the uh, coil wires, and uh, we got uh, ignition fired back up. We have to make it to Gilbert's and Key Largo. We only got 30 more miles to go. To Key Largo or Gilbert's. I think one of the things that happens after you spend a lot of time down here is that you get, how do you say it, you get comfortable, you don't really appreciate what it is, and then we got all these people that come from all over the world and absolutely fall in love with Key West, the Florida Powerboat Club Poker Run. And when you sit back and think about it, it is pretty spectacular. Beautiful water, all kinds of great places to go, tropical kind of thing just outside a huge municipality like Miami. So it's, uh, it, we feel pretty privileged to be here. It's a really cool deal. A couple of little glitches with the boat coming down, but overall, everything's good. At Gilbert's lunch stop in Key Largo, Powerboat Nation captures all the action. On departure from Gilbert's in Key Largo, more engine trouble forces a change in plan. Right after lunch at Gilbert's, I go down there, I fire the motors up, and there's a god-awful plank coming out of the starboard engine. I thought we busted the connecting rod. Yeah, idle to the boat ramp, put it on the trailer, and haul it down the truck.
things you would least expect to have a problem with. with. Came loose. So we're fixing it. We're gonna fix it properly, fix it. We don't jerry rig anything. We don't half ass anything. We 100% ass it all. What? Magnet? I don't want to get overly optimistic, but things are going back together pretty good. And if it wasn't for the hard work of Mark Berman from Bam Marine uh, and JW from Davis Auto Sales, we would be sunk.